22. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's just important to understand rational expression or rational powers is the same thing as the cube root of the exponential, 2x plus 1. This is the same thing. If you, right? That's the same thing as the rational power. So a lot of times, don't get yourself confused just because you see a fraction as the power. You can, re you can think of that as a radical. So if I had the cube root of an expression, how would I undo the cube root? You do what? Raise it to the third power. Well, guess what? What happens when I raise this to the third power? I'm really raising it to the reciprocal. Do you guys see that? What happens now? Now we're going to apply the power rule. The power rule is when you have an exponent raised to another power. What, what do you do with the powers when you have an exponent raised to another power? You add, subtract, multiply, divide. You multiply. So what happens when you multiply any number by its reciprocal? It multiplies to 1. So therefore, we're left with 2x plus 1 equals 1. So you can think about it. So whenever you have radicals, or whenever you have rational powers, you can think about it as a radical if that helps you. Um, but you don't have to. You can also just multiply, raise it, I'm sorry, to its reciprocal. Um, since my denominator is 1, though, that's going to, uh, oops, I'm sorry. I didn't see the other work. But you've got to make sure you raise the other side. You just can't raise one side. You have to do that to both sides. However, 1 to the three, third power is still just going to be 1. Now we can just solve. And then let's just make sure we check our answer. Um, 0, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 1 raised to the 1 third power, again, is like the same thing as the cube root of 1, which is still 1. Right? Think about it like this way. The raising to the 1 third power is like the same thing as the cube root, right? Well, the cube root of 1 is 1.